Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain you all the most important concept, probability. So let's get started. First of all, you will not find a question paper, I mean question paper in any competitive exam without a probability question. So it is very, very important that you must have good knowledge in this probability. So let's get started. Random experiment or trial. An experiment which can be conducted under identical conditions where the outcome is certain is called as trail. You see, if you toss a coin, the outcome will be either head or, or tail, right? So, the outcome is certain here. It may be yes or no. So, that type of experiment is known as a random experiment or trial. Sample space. The collection of all the outcomes in a trial is known as sample space. Head and tail, in case of coin, is a sample space. Mutually exclusive events. The happening of one event prevents the happening of the other event in a trial is called as a mutually exclusive events. If you have written an exam, you will either pass or you will fail. You can't pass and fail at the both time, right? So... If you pass, you will not fail. If you fail, you will not pass. So those type of events are known as mutually exclusive events. I hope you understood mutually exclusive events. Now, simple and compound events. If in an experiment or a trial, the events can be further subdivided, then the events are known as compound events. Otherwise, they are, called, they are said to be known as simple events. If the event can be further divided, for example, let us consider a um, box, box B, in that blue balls are there, green balls are there. If you pick up a, if you pick a ball from it, it may be either blue or green. You don't know, right? Picking up a ball is, uh, picking up a ball from it and then deciding whether it is blue or green. It is a compound event. If it contains only green balls, then it's a simple event. Right? And then dependent and independent events. Dependent and independent events. If the happening of an event depends on the happening of the previous event in a trial, then the events are said to be dependent events. Otherwise, the event is said to be independent event. Dependent event means it will depend on it will depend on other events. I mean the past events. Independent event means it will not depend on any other event. Probability of happening of an event E in a random experiment in which there are n sample points means n n outcomes are there and m favorable outcomes you need m favorable outcomes then the probability of happening of that event is number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes that is m by n let e bar denotes the not happening or not occurrence of an event then we can say that p of e bar is equal to 1 minus p of e that is happening of an event 1 minus happening of an event that is p of e 1 minus m by n that is equal to n minus m by n odds in favor of the event p of e is to p of e bar if you see odds in favor of the event in a question paper then use this formula probability of favorable outcomes is to n minus m probability of favorable outcome is to probability of not happening of that event m is to n minus m odds again as the event means probability of not happening of that event is to probability of that event n minus m is to m these two formulae are very very important please pay attention to this and don't neglect this formula if a and b are two mutually exclusive events in a trial, then the total probability P of A union B is equal to 1. Very, very important. P of E is equal to C, 0. 
probability of any event is zero if probability of any event is zero then it is known as impossible event if probability of any event is equal to one then it is known as a certain event and the probability value probability of any event value lies between zero and one it will not exceed one it will not deceive zero okay and the most important thing addition theorem on probability you see if a and b are two mutually exclusive events mutually exclusive events if you write an exam you either fail or pass if you pass you will not fail if you fail you will not pass those are mutually exclusive events which has exhaustive cases exhaustive means including all possible cases then we can say that probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b if a and b are two mutually exclusive events then we can say that probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b here's here probability of a intersection b is equal to 0 why you can't fail and pass in at a time in an exam so probability of a intersection b is equal to 0 if a and b are two mutually exclusive events and also exhaustive events means mutually exclusive events and that means uh, you can either fail or pass you cannot both fail and pass in an exam and exhaustive events means we are in, we are going to include all the cases then probability of a plus probability of b is equal to 1 since probability of a union b is equal to 1 and probability of a intersection b is equal to 0 and multiplication theorem on probability first one is conditional probability if a and b are two dependent events dependent events means the um, present event will depend on past event see probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of a into probability of probability of a into probability of b by a see the occurrence of event b depends on a the occurrence of event b depends on a so prob it is a dependent event probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of b into probability of a by probability of b i hope you understood this if a and b are two independent events then p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b that's it these are the basics of uh, probability thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video is useful for you thank you so much